Thank you. I'm going to read from an article that I've written a while back, uh, remembering my life in Bethlehem under Israeli occupation. It is 48 years since Israel invaded the West Bank, including my hometown of Bethlehem. Practically the whole of my lifetime, I have not known my city under any state except Israeli occupation. A couple of years ago, looking at a photo album of an old friend and neighbor, I became acutely aware of how alien his experience of Middle Eastern geography was to me. In the mid-50s, he would spend Saturday nights jitterbugging at the Everest, a restaurant coolly positioned on top of the highest hill in Bethlehem, and at dawn would drive to Beirut to continue the party. Today, this experience is unimaginable. The Middle East of his youth no longer exists. For those under 30, the Middle East I once knew does not exist either. So much has changed over the past 48 years. I first became aware of the political reality of the occupation in the early 1970s. I was a child at the time, but you grow up quickly when you are entrusted with burning all the political books in your father's library whenever there is an Israeli raid on the neighborhood. I had to do this on two occasions, the second time causing a blockage to the entire sewage system of the building as I zealously flushed the ashes of many important thoughts down the drains. At the time, Bethlehem and other Palestinian towns were mobilizing to run municipal elections, a seemingly basic right for any population. However, the right to democracy wasn't what Israel had in mind for the Palestinians and those who threw themselves into community organizing and election campaigns quickly found themselves locked behind bars. Accounts of their torture and ordeals in Israeli jails are well documented by human rights lawyers, activists, and journalists. Everyone knew someone in prison. I knew plenty. Of course, denying people this right is never a simple undertaking. It requires perpetual use of force and coercion, which permeated every aspect of our lives. Demanding the right to education was the crime that finally landed my father in jail. He was determined to build Bethlehem University. And now, after 48 years, of international efforts to end the occupation, Bethlehem's residents are confined to less than 13% of their original territory with no prospect of a future. The densely populated pockets are surrounded by walls and ring-fenced by more than 40 Israeli settlements built on Palestinian land. The compact geography reveals at a glance the nature of the Israeli government project and its commitment to territorial expansion at the expense of the Palestinians. The message is always clear. Should we get in the way, we will be subject, subjugated or supplanted altogether. The failure of the international community to impose international resolutions has taught the Israeli government that it can act with impunity, while the hermetic isolation imposed on the Palestinian population allows most Israelis to live in complete oblivion to the tragedy they are causing. Thank you.